Hi, Carl Hebert here, and today we're going to look at the camera gear that you would pack for travel photography. We're going to do this in two sections. The first section, the basic section, is going to cover the minimum amount of camera gear that you would need for, like, say, a weekend or a week-long excursion. The second section, the extravaganza section, is going to be going into some needs and wants, like extra camera bodies, extra lenses, GPS devices, and stuff like that. Are you ready? Let's go look at the gear. All right, this here would be the basic pile. This would be for something like a weekend or a week-long trip. Uh, this would be like the minimum I would think you would need for good travel photography. Uh, over here, we have the extravaganza pile, which is for a longer trip. I'm planning on a 45-day trip across country, so this is all the gear I'm taking with me, including the basic stuff. Uh, we'll go over all of this, the basic and the extravaganza, here in a minute. Just wanted to show it to you as a layout all across the table here. And that's it. We'll get on to the descriptions of what this stuff is in a minute. All right, let's go over the stuff in the basic pile. Uh, most important thing, of course, is your camera. In this case, this is a Canon EOS 5D Mark II. Uh, make sure your camera is in good working condition before you start out on your trip. Uh, the second thing you need, of course, is a good lens. This is a good general all-purpose lens right here. It's a 24 to 105. If you're going to take one lens, then you should have something that has some wide angle to it and a little bit of telephoto to it. And this one here is a really good lens. It's 24 to 105 Canon. Highly recommend something similar to that. Uh, make sure you have a backup battery. You know, you should have at least one battery spare to go with the one that you have in your camera. And also, battery charger. Uh, <laughs> make sure you bring your battery charger. I made a mistake of not bringing this once and I felt really bad about it. It sucked. Uh, another thing you need to do is uh, make sure you have enough memory cards. I have one in the camera, and plus I carry three other ones. So I got four memory cards I take with me. They're all 8 gig. Uh, if I was shooting video, I'd probably bring uh, some larger cards because video really fills up a card fast. So make sure you plan appropriately that you have enough cards. Another thing I highly recommend is either bring the manual that comes with your camera, or like in the case of Canon, they give you these little pocket guides. Uh, they help you with most of the basic controls in the camera, and even pros like me sometimes forget how to find certain functions, and these things can help jar your memory. Another thing is a lens cloth. you got to keep that lens nice and clean so you can get the best photos possible, uh, especially if you're in cities. Uh, cars are storing up a lot of dust. That front lens is going to get really dirty quick. This will help you clean it. also helps when you're in the and uh, hiking and stuff, and you get a little moisture on the lens. You can clean it off with this. Try not to touch your lens with your fingers. Uh, another old-school technique, uh, pen and Pen and paper. Uh, this comes in handy for uh, keeping track of your location, time of day. Uh, make little notes about examples like uh, lower falls come back at 8 a.m. Something as simple as that. I like it. It's low tech. <laughs> you know, it doesn't take up a lot of room in the camera bag, but I still find it very useful. Um, another thing to uh, always bring with you, especially if you're hiking outdoors anywhere, where travel photography usually is outdoors, is some type of sunblock. In the city or in the woods, you need sunblock. I love this stuff. Make sure you grab something that works good for you, that doesn't irritate your skin. I use it on my nose, my ears, the back of my neck, my hands and stuff. This stuff works great for me. If you are hiking outside, uh, insect repellent of some type is probably going to be necessary. Uh, make sure that you've used this stuff before you go on your trip so that you know it doesn't make you break out or cause rashes or anything like that. Nothing is going to make your vacation suck more than putting this stuff on and you know, coming out with hives or something. Uh, another word of warning with this stuff, uh, especially the 100D, uh, it will melt plastic. You want to be very careful around your watch, your sunglasses, your camera equipment, which has a lot of plastic in it. I know for a fact this will take off the coating on the glass of your lens. So make sure that you don't spray this stuff anywhere near your lenses that are, you have the caps off or anything like that. And again, I have to say, try not to touch your lens with your fingers after you use this, and you shouldn't be touching your lenses anyway. Uh, one more thing that I consider a basic is this tripod. You should have a nice, sturdy tripod, especially if you're going out and trying to shoot waterfalls or scenics across valleys, you know, anything that has low light situations, recommend a tripod. Yes, cameras have image stabilization and lenses have image stabilization, but I have not yet found any that can give you the equivalent of a nice, sturdy tripod. So make sure you get a good tripod, you know how to use it, use your uh, camera's timer or mirror lockup, and we'll talk about that in a later video. But 
again, tripod, I considered a basic necessity for travel uh, photography. And the last thing you need is something to put all this gear in. Uh, I like the Low Pro Sling Pack for basic, you know, for basic weekend stuff. Uh, this here, I can put my camera, my lenses, everything that you saw here will fit in this. The only thing that won't go in here is the tripod, and you can put that in a sling or just like I do, I usually just carry it in my hand. Uh, nice thing about the Low Pro Sling Pack is I use it in the city, and I also use it when I go hiking. And in the city, what's nice about it is you go on the subway, you can take this thing, sling it around to the front, protect your expensive camera gear from people behind you. You never know what's going on. Uh, other than that, this thing here is also very easy to get your camera stuff out of. It's got nice zippers here. You take them right out. You don't have to take it off when you're doing it. It slings right around out of the way. Really highly recommend these sling packs. I've enjoyed this. It's really worked well for me. Well, that's it for the basic stuff. Let's swing over and we'll check out some of the, uh, the extravaganza pile. All right, let's go over the stuff in the extravaganza pile, shall we? Uh, one of the most important things that I think that you should bring on a long trip is an additional camera body. This is a prop for the 60D, which I'm currently shooting the video for. And that will be my backup body. Uh, you should have multiple lenses. I'm going to have this 50mm 1.4 Sigma lens. This is great in low light situations. And also, it's the same perspective as what you see with your own eyes. So that's handy. Um, also going to take this 100mm macro for close-ups of insects, rocks, twigs, and stuff like that. Wonderful lens. Had that for a long time. Uh, this is my Mac Daddy lens. This is my 100 to 400. I call it my mammal lens. This is what I'm going to use to try to uh, capture uh, pictures of bison, elk, grizzly bears, and hopefully some wolves over in Yellowstone. Love this lens. A little 1.4 extender to go on that same lens. Give me a little more range so if I want to use it for like birding or if uh, the grizzlies are a little too far away or I don't want to get as close to them. Uh, also, I find important is a little timer. This is a remote trigger for my camera. It also allows me to do time-lapse photography. I'll be using this hopefully in Badlands to capture the Milky Way above the Badlands range. Uh, you should bring extra batteries. Uh, both the 60D and the 5D uh, use the same type of battery. So I got four of these batteries that I'm taking with me. Memory cards, I showed you the ones in the basic. This is two more 16 gig cards. So this will give me a total of uh, six cards total I'll be bringing with me. I'll have four 8 gig and uh, two 16s for the 5D. The 60D happens to take the smaller cards, they take the SDs. I'm going to have two 16 gig uh, SDs going with me. I'm going to be shooting just pretty much mostly just video with the 60D, just kind of like what I'm doing right now. Also for the camera, uh, I like circular polarizers. I still think they're useful even in this digital age. So I'm going to be bringing uh, circular polarizers for all my lenses. I also will have for all my lenses uh, UV filters or skylight filters. I don't normally have them on there, but I will when I get into Yellowstone around the geysers because they spew acidic mist and stuff. You don't want that stuff getting on your UV coated lenses and stuff like that. So I'll have those on there. Cheap glass for testing my expensive lenses. Uh, another little extravagant toy I'm bringing with me is this GPS device. Uh, this here I'll have attached to the top of my backpack and it'll actually uh, track me the entire time I'm hiking and also I'll be able to geotag my images once I download them onto my laptop. And speaking of laptop, you need to bring a laptop when you're doing a long trip like this. I almost think you should bring it when you do short trips too, a, a weekend or a week just to have your photos backed up onto. And speaking of backup, once you have them onto the laptop, you should back your images up onto an external hard drive. Uh, they're very inexpensive nowadays, so there's no excuse for not backing up your images once you get them onto your laptop. So you can clear off those cards for use later on. And to get your cards, your uh, card images, use this card reader or a, a card reader. You can hook your camera up, but I've usually noticed that the tethered camera downloads a lot slower than a dedicated card reader. I paid like 12 bucks for this at Walmart and it's extremely fast. Another little extravagance for uh, macro photography is a little ring light. You hook it up to the front of the lens and then this goes into your hot shoe and it gives you nice even lighting all around the subject that you're photographing. Uh, one more set of filters I like to take with me, uh, kind of old school, um, is these gradient filters. Uh, they're one stop, two stops, and three stops. And what this, these will do is help you balance the sky out with the foreground. 
So if you've got a really bright sky and you're in a valley, this will darken the sky for you. Basically, you could do the same thing by doing multiple exposures and combine them in Photoshop, but sometimes I just like doing stuff the old school way because I feel I find it's kind of simpler. Uh, the little thing I'm taking with me is a friend of mine, she loaned me this, a little tripod, uh, mini tripod. I can put it on the hood of my car, I can take it into restaurants with me and set it up on the, the counter, you know, and photograph the waitresses and waiters when they're going by. I'm going to be taking the microphone that you're listening to right now, and uh, when I'm out in the wild doing videos with the mic, you put dead kittens on the microphone. Uh, that's what they call these things. This is a dead kitten, and you put it on your microphone, and it cuts down on the wind noise when you're out in the wild. I'm also going to be bringing uh, backup batteries uh, and replacement batteries for all my electronics. Uh, this, these here will be for the GPS device and my flash. Also, I've got a camera raincoat. This goes over the 100 to 400 millimeter lens and the camera. So if it starts raining, I can put this on and keep photographing, or especially when I'm in Yellowstone around the geysers, uh, this here will protect my camera from the acidic moisture that's there. Uh, another little extravagant toy here is the little solar powered uh, charging device here. This will charge up my cell phone and also charge up my GPS device. Uh, so it's real handy. And since you are going to be out, for a while, make sure to bring all the cords for all your electronics. And another little extravagance that I found that I really enjoy is this cotton carrier. This basically attaches to your chest and your camera is right here. What's nice about having it up on your chest like this, it doesn't bounce around and it's not swaying and it's easy to get to. So I found in a recent trip that I just took that when I came around a corner I had my camera here and I came onto a herd of deer. I was able to take my camera off and take some pictures right away. If I would have had to stop, take my backpack off, open it up, the deer would have been gone. So it was nice and handy to have it right here. I'm also bringing a diffuser for my flash. This softens the lights, not as harsh when you're taking pictures of your friends or the chipmunk that's eating your sandwich. And also make sure that you bring all the manuals to all your electronics. I can't stress this enough when you're doing a long trip. Uh, granted, you can find most of this information online, but then again, if you're in an area where you don't have online service, it's good to have the paper, the old-fashioned paper, to uh, look at. Uh, one of the last things is a nice hat. This is a nice wide brim hat I'm going to be taking with me. It'll keep the sun off my back, my, the back of my neck, and also keep the sun on my eyes when I'm trying to focus on it. It's also vented to let some air in, keep your head cool. And also, I'll have a uh, mosquito net that will go over this. So when I stop and the swarm catches up to me, they won't interfere with me while I'm trying to focus and take pictures, you know, flying into my eyes and stuff like that. And last is this wonderful backpack right here. I like Tamarack Expedition Packs. Uh, this thing here is serving me very well. Everything that I've shown you, both the basic and the extravaganza pile, all fit into this. And it's not light, not in the least bit, but it's comfortable. And the tripod will fit on here. And with the cotton carry on the front, I'm able to take images quickly. And then when I want to stop, I can take this off and pull out everything I need. It's all in here. The only other thing I'm taking with me is my business cards so I can hand them out to people. And also, as I'm driving across the country, I'm going to be handing out LearnMyShot.com cards to teach them about this wonderful site you're looking at right now. Well, that's everything basic and extravaganza. I hope you enjoyed it. And hope it will help you when you pack for some travel vacation shots. Uh, that's it. Carl Heber here. Talk to you later. Bye.